When a record label hears an album, they're not li necessarily listening to the artistry, are they? For them, it's about the numbers. It depends. I think at that particular time, I was lucky in Sony Music because there were a couple of people high up in the label that were real music fans, no doubt, and mm. they loved the record. <laughs> uh, but they, I think part of them also knew, like, this is not going to fly at radio like we need it to. And, uh, and of course, the MD, you know, Dennis, who is, he's a hit man, you know, he's a hit maker. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, he, even though he loved Heaven Knows, he said to me, you know, I, you know, I, I want that song played at my funeral. It's so beautiful. It's touched oh, me. Oh, wow. You know. And so I was big buddies with all the guys at the label, but, you know, it does come down to dollars and cents. I was, my third album... I was in Los Angeles writing songs, and Dennis and the boys were not enjoying really anything that I was writing, and uh, they wanted a particular kind of thing, and were holding out for the recording. So I, I, uh, I came back to Australia, and I basically said, "Well, what, what kind of record do you want?" And they told me the kind of record that I want, that they wanted. So I wrote it, and I recorded it, and I got dropped after that. And that showed, that taught me a powerful lesson. They signed me because of my artistry and how I would fit in, right? But the guy that came to them and said, well, okay, I'm so frustrated. You're not accepting any of the music I'm wanting to record. What do you want? Yeah. Let me try and give that to you as best I can, you know? And I think that was a, that was a big mistake of mine. I should not have done that. Even though the record's... It's a good, it's a decent record. There's nothing wrong with it. But I think it somehow sent up the wrong smoke signals for me as an artist and mm. for them to label and they didn't believe in the, uh, the record. And, and so, you know, that the record just kind of disappeared and, and basically they just didn't take up the option on the next album. There was no big fuss. It was all pretty, pretty uh, you know, friendly. What's that like for you as an artist, though? Oh, it's uh, a killer. It's a killer. You mean to be dropped off a label? Yeah. Yeah. It's a blow to the system, and I don't think anyone could deny that, any artist. There might be some artists that are delighted to get out of their deals, but at that time I wasn't. You know, I was... Uh, it really hit me hard, and I was disappointed in a lot of people around me, my management, you know, the label, I felt like I'd been sort of led up the garden path to, this is what we really want, Ricky. You know, you've got to deliver, man. We know you can do it. Just get in that studio and do it. Okay, here's the demos. Yeah, we love the song. Boom. And then nothing, you know. Yeah. So I felt really, I kind of almost felt tricked in a way, you know. But there's a lot, there's a lot behind, uh, uh, there's a lot that goes on around all of that, you know. They may have had other reasons that they didn't tell me about that, you know, but for whatever reason, you know, uh, it just didn't work out. But I, after a while, I chose to look at it as a positive. It had given me a career. It had given me, uh, you know, a home for myself and my son. You know, I, I made some money and I built a career. And uh, those guys at the label have been just, you know, nothing but fantastic whenever I've, I've sort of, you know, come across them. So it's just a dollars and cents thing. I guess at some point they just decided he's not going to deliver what we want. And it's not about how good he is. It's, it's about what we can sell. Dollars and cents. Wants. Does this add up? No. Okay, got to go. And uh, that's why some of the most amazing artists in the world have all been dropped off their major record deals. Not all of them, but most.